Hi, I'm Jackie Rabbit. You know me. Hey, so it's kind of raining out here, so I'm going to back up under this tree. But hey, I want to talk to you. Um, FFS was one of the things I get a lot of questions about. And um, I know it's scary. Believe me, I went through it. It's not as scary as you think, though. So I want to show you some of the before and after pictures. That's what I've been getting questions about. So let's see. I've got 3D images before and after. So let's take a look at them. Remember, thumbs up this video, subscribe, click the bell so you get alerts when I post new content. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Facial feminization surgery isn't as scary as you think. It is a doable thing. And after the first week, you're kind of okay. It's a little rough and you have a wicked headache, but you can get through this. So I want to share those pictures I talked about. I have 3D images that they took with three cameras positioned on a big stand. And I have them before FFS and after FFS. So let's take a look at those right now. Notice the position of the brows and the protrusion of the brows, then also the distance from the nose to the top of the lip and the flatness of the lip on the side profile. Here's the three camera setup image, poof, and it will turn this into the 3D image once rendered. Now take a look at the brow position, the forehead position, the forehead shape, and the lip curl at the lip. And there's the before and after. I am just as impressed as you are. I can hear you saying, wow, what a difference. Oh yes, what a difference. You're absolutely right. It is an amazing thing. And I didn't have a jaw or anything down here. I did a lip lift. I did the brow shave, brow lift. And they moved my hairline down enough to make it look right. Isn't that great? I still have a little bit of peakiness, but so do a lot of girls. That's no big deal. So I got a little peak right there. No big deal, right? So there's other pictures too. Like I took some here and there as selfies. Right before the night of the surgery, I was at Starbucks and I had a friend shoot some pictures of me. So let's go take a look at those pictures at Starbucks. Here they are. Here's the night before when I went to Starbucks. You notice the brow is so much lower and protruding. And here's the other side. Pretty darn masculine. Here I am at my friend's place. See how low my eyebrows are and how long the lip is from the nose? Now look now. Bam, such a difference. Okay, I forgot those were a little rough. You know, I was feeling like I was looking really just fine back then. Nobody noticed me, and to be honest, I was wondering if I needed FFS at all. I look back, I look at me now, and I think, oh my gosh, I am so thankful for Dr. Shi at Kaiser and his wonderful talent at facial feminization surgery. It's insane what a difference and the confidence it provides. So that's the next thing I want to talk about. Why do you want facial feminization surgery? Well, I can tell you from my experience why I wanted it and then what I actually got. I wanted it so I could fit in and nobody would ever notice little old Jackie. Well, maybe they do. Um, but what did I get? What I actually got was confidence. I can have confidence that I can go out shopping with my friends whenever I want, wherever I want, and I never worry about being overtly trans. Now, I'm not stealth, but I also don't out myself if I don't have to. So I don't, and I don't need to. In less than a month, my legal name change is done and all my documentation down to my birth records will be changed. And I will never have to deal with this problem of being outed because I want to drink or have to buy something like a can of spray paint and I have to show my license. Silliness. Or even getting a job. That keeps you from wanting to go out and show anyone who you really are because they'll probably be prejudiced towards me and not give me the job. But that's really my codependent little voice in my head saying, you're going to get messed with. It's not always true. It's not always true. So those are the things I wanted to share about FFS. It's not impossible. 
Don't shortchange yourself and convince yourself you can't do it, or it's too painful, or it's too difficult. It's not. You could totally do it. Kaiser covers it these days. And as I stand here out in the rain, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I am so glad I had facial feminization surgery. It's one of the best things I ever did. And I've got boobs. So <laughs> I got to be honest. I love what Dr. She did for me. That being said, if you're struggling and you need help and you don't know who to talk to and you've listened to me, remember transgenderpulse.com has a lot of great people on the site. And if you're just starting, don't do any of this other stuff or plan a surgery. Go get a therapist. That's the most important step of transition. Transgenderpulse.com has a resource page where you can find a, a therapist in your area. You can search by the location and find one for yourself. That's what I did. That's how I got going in transition. And if you really want to talk to people, great people on that site. I have fantastic friends from there that I love. And they know who they are. I'm looking at you, girl. So take care of yourself. And remember, this is doable. Every day is a process. It's one day at a time, even when stuff goes wrong. Take care of yourself. And remember, I care what's happening with you. And that's going to be something that counts for tomorrow. Get to tomorrow. See you later. Bye. I'm getting wet. It's raining. Why am I shooting a video out here? I must be nuts. <laughs>